Hi folks, I want to welcome all of you to this course. I'm really glad to have all of you here with me. So let me introduce myself. My name is Nadia Hetson and I'm going to be your instructor in this course. I am from Belarus. I am also a graduate of Coastal Carolina University. When I left Coastal, I moved to Washington DC to pursue my master's degree in broadcast journalism. While in DC, I worked with the BBC and American University as well. So I'm really passionate about multimedia and broadcasting journalism, but I have to admit that writing and copy editing skills are one of the, of the most essential you can have. Why? At any job, at a marketing firm, PR firm, at a TV station, and of course, at a newspaper bureau, you will have to write. And you'd better be a good writer and a good editor. So that's why I hope this course will be useful to you and you will enjoy it great. Now, let me give you a quick tour of the materials I have prepared for you and of the structure of this course. Okay, folks, as you know, it is an online course, so we are not going to meet in class. However, you will need to check your Blackboard account every day because you will find required video lectures, reading materials, and quizzes and assignments. So let's explore the Blackboard interface and uh, check out the materials that I have prepared for you. On the left hand side of the screen, you will find links to important materials that you're going to use in this course. So the, the first one is announcements, second one is syllabus. While it is an online course, I will encourage you to keep in touch with me. If you have any questions or concerns, please reach out and you can find my email at the top of the syllabus. We're going to use two required textbooks, the Associated Press Style Book and Working with Words. I hope you have bought them already because we're going to start using them right away. I will send you some chapters from a different textbook. However, they're going to be attached to your blackboard. Hopefully, by the end of this course, you'll be comfortable with grammar, punctuation, AP style, and you'll be able to resolve ethical and legal issues. To succeed in this course, you will need to view all the video lectures and read assigned text, as well as complete all the tutorials and exercises on time. So no missed assignment is going to be accepted, unless you have a reasonable excuse, a sufficient course. Your grades are going to be based on your homework assignments and quizzes to end two exams. So two exams both account for 15% of your final grade each. All your homework assignments account for the rest of your grade. You will have an opportunity to get bonus points for extra assignments. Those are already posted on Blackboard, however they are not labeled as extra assignments. If you complete all the assignments perfectly, your grade will add up to 110, which is A. To get an A, you need to score 90 to 110. And each point for each assignment is a point out of your grade. So let's say something counts for 5% of your grade, it means it is worth 5 points. Now let's have a look at the materials for one of the classes that I have prepared for you. You will find required video materials. Those are short videos that I have prepared for you to um, highlight some important or complicated issues that your chapter discusses. With that said, you still need to read the required reading materials because they're going to explore particular issues in depth. Required reading materials are going to be followed by a graded exercise or a quiz. Every time when you see graded exercise, 
it means going to count for part of your grade. So it was a short introduction into the course structure and course materials. If you do have any questions, and that is totally fine if you do, please post them to the Blackboard discussion board, labeled as questions about syllabus. The reason I'm asking you to do that, that is that other students can have the same question. Okay? Well, welcome aboard!